a certain first order reaction A to B is 32% complete in 47 minutes at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the half-life of the reaction? So, let's analyze first the problem. We are given a reaction A forming B. So, A is a reactant. B is our product. So, initially, before the reaction takes place, you have 100% of your reactant and 0% of your product. Since again, the reaction is not yet happening. For the final concentrations, the problem says it is 32% complete. So for this specific reaction, when you say 32% complete, that means only 32% of A is converted to B. So for B, you have 32% and you have remaining 68% for A. Then we will use the following equation for first order reactions. Ln of A is equal to Ln of A0 minus Kp. So let's define the terms here. A is the final amount of reactant. A0 is the initial amount of reactant. K is the rate constant and T is time. We are given the final amount of the reactant. You have 68%. So that's LN of 68. Initial amount of the reactant is 100%. So that's LN of 100 minus K. We are not given, we are not given the rate constant. Times time. In the problem, time is given. It's 47 minutes. So looking at the reaction, the missing term is k or the missing variable is k. So we can solve for k. So what you need to do is you transfer ln100 to the left side. So the, the equation becomes ln68 minus ln100 is equal to negative k times 47 minutes. If you want to solve for k, you need to divide both sides by negative 47 minutes. So, negative would cancel on the right side as 47 minutes would also cancel on the right side. And if you solve for k or the rate constant, this is equal to 0 0.00820558468698 and the unit for k would be per minute as you can see the minute is at, at the denominator so it would be per minute so that's the value of k now we know the relationship of K and half-life for first-order reactions. So for first-order reaction, half-life, the symbol for half-life is T1 half, is equal to ln of 2 divided by K. So again, half-life is equal to ln of 2 divided by K. So ln of 2 divided by 0 
0.558-4698 per minute. And if we solve for half-life or T1 half, this is equal to 84 and the unit would be minutes. So the answer to this question is 84 minutes.